organized crime rates challenge Dubai's status as a criminal safe haven It is the oil-rich Middle Eastern monarchy that has long attracted fraudsters, fugitives, and shady characters. But the United Arab Emirates' status as a safe haven for criminals may have been smashed following the arrest of five Sydney men allegedly behind the importation of 1.9 tons of narcotics Mick and Fadi Ibrahim, brothers of King's Cross nightclub star John Ibrahim, were arrested after a dinner with associates in Dubai on Tuesday as part of a massive organized crime operation across three continents. Their dining companions underworld gang member Stephen Fawaz Elmer, infamous Telakia street boy Mustafa Dib and heroin smuggler Hakan Arif were also arrested by Dubai's anti-narcotics police department, who worked in close tandem with Australian police. Australian Federal Police Assistant Commissioner Neil Gohan said the Dubai police were instrumental in dismantling two syndicates working across Sydney and the Netherlands. Their professionalism and dedication to the task contributed significantly, he said on Tuesday Dubai's wealth has grown almost exponentially in 20 years but many experts have observed that it is not thanks to oil wells discovered in the 1960s but, rather, a type of dirty money flowing in from drug cartels, Russian mafia, gun runners, and terrorist groups. A staggering boom in real estate. The property sector was opened up to foreign buyers in 2002, has been singled out as one of the channels most vulnerable to illicit cash flow. It is common for overseas buyers to pay for expensive Dubai apartments in cash yet never step foot in them. In one case cited by the New York Times, a Russian businessman filtered $10 million to purchase land without anyone back to the freewheeling approach to business in a country where about 8 million of its 10 million residents are expats have contributed to Dubai's reputation for money laundering it has been the sanctuary of choice for other Australians fleeing the spotlight, like Bondi businessman Peter Larkham who fled to Dubai as the $145 million Australian taxation office scandal deepened. One U.S. investigation found that $190 million in cash was smuggled from Afghanistan, much of it from heroin trade. In just 18 days money laundering has for many years been a component of Dubai's informal economy but this is more a byproduct of Dubai being the region's most laissez-faire free port. Christopher Davidson a global authority on Middle East politics from England's Durham University, told The Times. However, Dubai is sensitive to accusations of money laundering and has steadily implemented a trench of stronger laws and extradition treaties and made some high-profile arrests a bilateral extradition treaty signed by Australia and the United Arab Emirates came into force in 2011. Mr. Gohan said their extradition request for the five men allegedly at the center of the cartel will be processed within 60 days. Asked why they were in Dubai, Mr. Gohan said, You probably have to ask them why they were in the UAE. I think there is the a perception by Australian criminal syndicates that they can operate in certain countries and be out of the reach of Australian law enforcement. This is a very clear message that places like Dubai, are working with law enforcement to bring these people to justice.